In this last video, we'll put on the other magnets on the base for a levitating shaft on a Mendocino motor. Again, we're using one inch diameter countersunk ring magnets, as before. Again, we screw them into a position on a block of wood. Here we experiment a little bit with the uh, magnet to magnet distance. It turns out it works best to use about the same distance apart as the first set. But you can experiment with it by hand to see what works best. With these magnets, you don't have to offset them like the other ones where you can put them directly beneath the magnet on the shaft, since the front set of magnets provides that push that holds it up against the wall. And here we just double check to make sure that the magnets on this set are directly underneath the magnets of the shaft. There you have it, a freely spinning, pseudo-levitating shaft. There's still some friction up at the front where the nail touches the block of wood. It is otherwise unsupported. If you bounce it too much, it will fall off of this position, but it does have a little pocket of stability where it will tend to wobble back to a stable position.